Coastal Carolina versus North Carolina. It's two to two with a two two count. There's two outs and two men on. And this one is brought to you by the Warehouse Games. Tournament going on. The winning team gets $10,000. And if you subscribe, you are entered to win $1,000 at the end of the tournament. They're going to go with an outside fastball, it looks like. But the catcher fakes inside, goes outside, puts it in play. Runner's going to round third. Left fielder bullets it home, and he is out, punched out. Ball gets tossed in the air. They're celebrating. They threw the go-ahead run out. Wait. The umpires are chatting. They're talking. They're going over each other's thoughts with each other, seeing how they're doing. They're saying, like, we're going to replay this. We're going to review it. Now, I don't – if they if the other team didn't ask, and they're just doing this on their own, it's kind of weird. And then we're reviewing if the catcher obstructed from the runner – if he blocked his path to the plate. And it's a bit of a nuanced rule, and I have the rules, so everyone that loves rules is going to enjoy this one. Now, here we go. The runner is about to score. The ball comes into play, and the rules state. To rule on a play at the plate, the umpire needs to take a mental snapshot to record the relative positions of the runner, the catcher, and the throw. Lucky for us, we don't have a mental snapshot. We have a literal snapshot. Is the runner attempting to score? Is he inside the dirt circle around the plate or within the last few steps in his approach to the plate? Yes, he's in the dirt circle. He's attempting to score. Let's move on. If yes, look at the position of the catcher and the throw. Okay. Is the catcher in the pathway of the runner? If the answer is yes, and a runner is attempting to score, he needs to have possession of the ball. He does not have possession of the ball. Or be in the act of fielding the throw. What does that mean, you ask? Well, according to Rule 255, Notes 1 and 6, act of fielding the throw is further defined by if the fielder is about to receive a thrown ball and the ball is in flight directly toward and near enough to the fielder, so he must occupy his position to receive the throw. Yeah, we got that, man. The ball's there. It's coming right towards him. That's where he would be standing to field that throw because it's a perfect throw. It says, to summarize, to be in the act of fielding, the fielder must be in a position where a legitimate attempt will allow him to receive a nearby throw that is coming directly toward him. As stated in Rule 255, Note 6, it is entirely up to the judgment of the umpire as to whether the fielder is in the act of fielding a ball or not. Great. Note 6, you son of a bitch. You just told us the exact parameters, what to look for. Here we are, me and everyone, looking at the snapshot, saying, yeah, he's in the circle. He's trying to score. Yeah, the catcher is in the act of fielding that ball. That's where he would be standing. And then note six comes in and says, hey, you don't get a fucking say. Whatever the umpire says goes, and you can't even question it. So whatever. I have him out, but it's up to these guys. They say he's safe. They say he blocked the plate. And he says, come here. I'll tell you about it. Don't even worry. Coach comes out. I believe his name is Scott Forbes, the coach. And look at that. That umpire just ran into a buzzsaw of a man. One, two, three. Ha, <laughs> ha, ha, You're about to hear it. Sure are. And they're talking. He's like, let me tell you what I saw. Let me tell you what I saw. No, no, no. I saw it too. He's like, you're not going to let me explain it to you? He's like, why would I? I saw it too. You're wrong. I do. I am able to read some of the lips coming up because he comes over. Catcher's distraught. He's sad. Drops a bull crap on him. We're in the South. He goes, that's bull crap. He did not. Umpire said he did. He blocked his way. Blah, 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 blah. He's got to give him a lane. Blah, 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 blah. I get to make up my mind. All the rules don't matter. Note six, bitch. He says, the ball. No, no. You're wrong. You made the wrong call. No, that's wrong. No, I, I just watched the whole replay. You're so wrong. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> You're so wrong. <laughs> Not just wrong, man. You're so wrong. I mean, he's still yelling at him for a while. The catcher just kind of standing there, taking it all in like, thanks, coach. I'm listening. It looks like I'm not listening, but I am listening. Get him, coach. Get him. He's, I just watched the whole play with my own two eyes. And you're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> uh, I think he's going to go through the motions here. He's like, that's just bullshit. He goes, I'm standing right here. And then the ball, I catch the ball. 
Boom. Play. So you throw me out? Yeah, he got ejected. Bummer of time for him. And then at the end here, he's going to let him know kind of the crux of his argument. He says, it's a bang-bang call, and it has to be inconclusive. So that's what he's really upset about. And you can see his quotes here. He says, I thought the play was inconclusive. I did not feel it was conclusive. It's redundant, dude. Even if they don't call it obstruction right away, I would have felt the same way. So I would have said you cannot change it where it is non-obstruction. I thought it was too close to tell. I don't agree with that call, and I'm entitled to my opinion. Just like the umpires are entitled to just make whatever call they want. I watched it on replay just like they did. I know the rule. I have the rule highlighted in my rule book. I'd call bull spit on that. I think he highlighted it after the game just to be able to say that. We studied the rules. I didn't agree with it. I didn't think there was enough to show to have it overturned. They are just saying he was set up too early in the way of the plate. I guess it doesn't matter. We won, which is true. They came back. Look, they get out of that inning. The first pitch of the bottom of the eighth, this dude goes deep to tie the game, and nothing matters. It's all washed away. And then later in the game, North Carolina in the bottom of the 10th with the bases loaded. They put one in the left field, and no one's throwing anyone out now. They win. So it doesn't matter. That guy's doing a funky run. Look at the arms on 22 here. What is that? Seems fun. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Look at those arms. Is that how he runs? I don't think so. I think he's having fun. What a good time. Subscribe to the Warehouse Games. Go watch them. They're fun.